Hello guys, Sissicott here and welcome back for another tutorial. Today we're gonna continue with the main, like lightening it up and add some shadow as well and hopefully have time for the tail as well. We will begin with lightening the main a little bit and here we're gonna use the smooch tool a lot more. Like I said in the previous episode, when we are working on the lightest color, it's good to have a lot of smooch on it, so it will not look weird. Um, what we're gonna do is adding a bigger section of light somehow on the main, so it will have very thick brush strokes, kind of, and then use a very, very big smooch brush after that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's begin on this tutorial. All right, we're gonna zoom in a bit so we see a little better. And of course you don't need to work in groups, but it will make it easier for you to not have so many layers here. So let's see, we open up the main group, hold on the group main and add new layer. So you will always, like I said in the pre previous tutorial, always work in layers, never on one layer that will be a problem if you need to erase something all right first is adding a new layer go into the color picker pick the lightest color on the color palette here click ok go to the brush tool make sure that pen pressure is for opacity and size and always brush settings just in case you have used the mouse button not the mouse button but the mouse cursor there we go we're also gonna have a bigger brush size now since we are lightening up things but when we are going to light this smaller hairs here we're gonna have a little smaller one but yeah so i think maybe we can go a little down we can go down to 15 maybe no we go with 10 actually <laughs> okay so what i'm gonna do is actually adding these light st strokes here on top here since the sun is hitting the top of the horse first of course and i'm also gonna add light strokes where it feels natural to add them so you see it's very light here so of course have some here as well and this you can play around with if you don't like how it's uh, placed you can always erase it when you are working on a new layer so that's never a problem we also gonna add light to the edges here as well yeah, we keep that for now. I will maybe add some more in here as well. Okay, so we're also gonna add some light to the small hairs here. So just gonna go a little down on that. Let's see. Oh, this is more tricky than actually the bigger ones because they are so small. All right, let's give this a try, you guys. We are now added different light strokes, I would call them, on the main. So now we're gonna go over to the smooch tool and we're gonna have it very big. I think we're actually gonna take it all up to 100. Or maybe that bit will be. Uh, I take it this high up because then it will smooch a lot faster. We're still gonna have it very low. We're not gonna have much strength. But you can see like, it will go way easier to light or smooch out the strokes you have added to me. Now it will look funny, but we're also gonna change the layer style down here afterwards. All right, now we have smoothed out the different lights, kind of. Now we're gonna change the layer style a bit, so it will look a little more natural on the main as well. So, I go over, I still have marked the lightning the main layer, I go over here. And here I think it's best to go for soft light. Now you can see the light are a little better um, fit into the main. And you can always change the opacity so it will look even more natural. Now we have added the light to the main. So the next step is actually adding a shadow. So it will look or fit even better with the lightning we have done already on the main. So what we are going to do is going to main, have a new layer, we can call this darkening or something like that, or shadow, we can actually call it shadow. And here we're actually going really dark, 
So I think we're actually gonna go a little darker than we actually have used on the first layer. So, shadow, adding the layer first, color picker, go to the color and maybe click one under there. Same thing, actually, uh, having a little bigger brush size. I think we go for 10 here as well. And adding shadow where it feels natural to add it somehow. The corners is typical. Like here, for example. It's very natural to add it. And also in the corners here and there. All right. After you have added shadow, go for the smooch tool again. Make sure it's 100 and only strength to 9. And you're gonna do the same thing. All right, now we have added shadow and light, but I feel like some of the main here are not... It's a little too light for my comfort. So what I do is going back to the lightning, the ma lightning the map, have you heard of that? Lightning the main, go to the eraser, but I will not erase the whole thing. So I actually go for a soft brush and also take down the opacity. I think I'm gonna go actually so low down to 12 and I go over where I think it's too light you can always make changes if you think it's too light some places oh we have actually forgot to make sh a shadow to the bangs here as well so we'll do that really fast all right now we have added light and shadow on the main and bangs here and if it still is too light so here and there, you can always change the opacity and also the fill. It will look more natural. So okay, if we, if we now take away the shadow and the lightning, you can see a huge difference already. You add the light and the shadow. And it will get a very different kind of character in the main somehow, but we're also gonna change the layer style of the shadow in the main as well. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go for a little harder light to so see the shadow. And here we can also continue to smooch it out. And again, remember to use the opacity and fill if you think it's too harsh on different places. All right. Wow, you guys, time is flying. It's not even funny. Okay. Gotta make time for the tail, and but we need the lightning and shadowing for the tail next time. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add different layers for different colors and have different brush sizes for different colors. And keep going with layers and colors and brush sizes until we have the same result. So therefore, I'm gonna speed paint this part, but I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as I did with the main. So it will be the, totally same, but I'm actually going to use some different brush sizes, but that I will add. Now you're only going to see the main information, but I'm going to add different sizes of the t I'm using on the tail in the end of this video, so you will see this information down here. Whoops, I'm not supposed to do that, but I'm supposed to take away this one. All right, so I'm going to go right on the tail, but this is going to be speeded up, so lean back and enjoy if and if you have any questions during this part let me know in the comments below and i'm gonna help you through all right let's begin with a tail <music>
right, now all the layers are done on the tail with the different colors. And as you can see, it's actually turned out a little lighter than the main, but now we also have added shadow and lightning to... Lightning? Have you heard about? <laughs> shadow and light to the main, so we will do the same next time on the tail, so it will fit a little better. And as you can see, it looks really funny with the first layer, but everything can be changed since we have worked on layers. So yeah! Um, that was actually all we have time for you guys, so we need to end this video here, but I promise next time I will add a little more small, very light white uh, strokes on the mane and smoosh them even more to add some more light here and there. I see that these here do not stick out as much as I want. And we're also gonna add shadow and light to the tail as well, so it will be fitting perfectly to the horse with the mane and the color of the horse and all that. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me and watching this tutorial. If you have any questions and wondering about something, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer them as best as possible. And before I end, I will just click up a little information box here about what kind of brush sizes I have used for the different colors on the tail. All right, so here is the brush sizes I have used for different colors on the tail. So you can see here the dark, I begin with 20, the next one 10, the lighter one 8, and then 4 and 2. And 1 will always be used for the lightest one. So a little different from the main, but is basically the same I'm gonna call that logic or how you add different layers. You go for the thickest uh, brush size when you begin on the darkest one and go down the lighter you go. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and also subscribe to my channel for more horse games and upcoming tutorials. And I see you next week with the live stream on Wednesday.